All right, so I'm at Circle K and I'm about to go in. So in case you don't know what Circle K is, um, it's a gas station. It's just a regular gas station. Um, it's I don't know if it's nationwide. Um, it's here in the Carolinas. All right, so this is what it looked like. So every time I come here, I always make me an iced coffee. Yes, it is January. Watch this, I back. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. All right, let me go ahead and make this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand. All right, so I already have the cream and everything and the sugar mixed in, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my iced coffee. it while I was making the stuff but I only got two hands if you from the south especially the Carolinas then you know about this place food lizzle all right so I am at food lion um I was gonna shop at Publix but I didn't want to spend like $50 for six days Lion, so their produce is like in a whole separate section <laughs> in the store. Do I need no? I don't need any fruit right now. I have all of the berries at home, and I'm grocery shopping again this weekend. I just need this. vegetables, vegetables. What am I going to cook today? Asparagus, three twenty nine a pound. All right, so I left my AirPods in the car, so I hope this thing is picking up my voice. But I'm still looking for green vegetables. I don't understand, like stuff just really ain't popping out to me right now. Um, I would get some of the butternut squash, but them things take forever to cut up. It don't take that long to cook, but it takes forever to cut up, and I'm just not trying to deal with that today. Let me get some bell peppers. some zucchini and squash because you can never go wrong with that. Mm. So this is going to be a boring meal today, man. Alright, so this is what I'm working with so far. Zucchini, squash, bell peppers, and asparagus. Does anything here stick out to me? Well, this, that's too sad, mm. I'll get this. Oh, 
shells a little skimpy. Tomatoes. I have onions at home. I just need some tomatoes. And I think I'll be good on the vegetables for right now. All right. And typically, when I come to the grocery store, I typically have a grocery list, but today is just off the dome. I did not intend to come to the store today. But you know how life can be sometimes. I don't need any of the stuff over here. And I don't eat meat, by the way. I need some mustard. Excuse me. Do you ever eat burritos? Ma'am? Do you ever eat burritos? Mm -hmm. Go to Dollar Tree. They got a foot long El Monterey beef and bean or bean and chicken. Yep. Breakfast wraps with the scrambled egg inside for a dollar. Oh wow, I'm gonna and check that out. Monterey. You won't find one that size any in any other store. Uh-huh. My husband I keep about four or five Doritos in the freezer and my husband keeps keep my husband eats the breakfast ones every morning. Wow, I'm gonna try that out. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely check that out because I love the Dollar Tree too. Stop carrying. Oh wow. Wow. I mean, it's, there were 21 in a package. Stick them in the microwave for three minutes, and it's uh -huh. enough for both me and my husband. I don't feel like getting the big bag of them. Right, right. Well, you see Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's going up and running. exactly. Well, I definitely appreciate that. I'm gonna check it out. Thank okay. you. So the only thing I have left at this point is waters and I hope they have them. And if they have while I'm on the subject, let me see if they have some micronites. Nope. Well, they don't have any mic and mics, and that's really like the best candy in the world. Excuse me. Okay, so they do have deer parks. They got some up here. had really three within reach so I got two of the food lion brand um, sorry I got two of the food lion brand spring waters in three deer parks I know some people might be like oh deer park is nasty ugh, ugh. but spring water is the best type of water you can drink and that's all we drink is spring water we do not drink purified water only spring baby Now all I need, all I need, all I need, all I need. All I need now is fries and my fish, and then I'm out this. <laughs> Bruh, really? should have known but they do have some fries on the bottom that I'm gonna have to settle for those are sweet potato fries up there and I'm not about to get them nasty junks so I gotta choose between the crinkle fries and straight cut but you 
know what? I'm thankful because at least they had something. I mean, they could have, you see these shelves? They could have had nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm still thankful. Do you ever eat burritos? Hmm? Do you ever eat burritos? Mm -hmm. Go to Dollar Tree. They got a footlong El Monterey beef and vino, bean and cheese for one dollar. Okay. And they've also got the breakfast wraps with the scrambled eggs inside for one dollar. Okay. And they are mild, and you won't find that size in any other store. Okay, I'm gonna definitely try that. I thank you. Have it. Come through, food lion. just have to go with the flounder even though I prefer whiting and if it's a fish with bone in give me a croaker baby my favorite type of fish all time is a croaker I'm from the low country waters of South Carolina I'm from the 843 give me a croaker Fried croaker with the head on, baby. <laughs> All right, let me go check out. I got everything I need. Got everything I need. Even though I should not be drinking sodas, but I do want me a Diet Coke. Not believe this thing is perfectly holding up my phone. <laughs> I'm just sitting it against the the glass of the odometer. But anyway, when I was um, I don't know if y'all picked up, um, there was a lady who approached me twice while I was in Food Lion. The lady looked like she could have probably been in her 60s or 70s. She didn't look too old. Um, she the first time she approached me, she was like. Um, have I ever tried the burrito or some kind of burrito or something from Dollar Tree? Um, now, of course, you know, I don't eat meat, but I just told her, oh no, I don't think I've tried that yet. You know, cause she uh, started to make conversation. She was basically telling me like, you know, I need to go to Dollar Tree and get this burrito. There's this real big burrito and you know, my husband eats it and it's only a dollar and, and um, it's just a real good deal. So I'm like, okay, well I definitely, you know, try that out again, you know, I don't eat meat, but me being, you know social i was like okay well i'm gonna definitely try that out you know i love shopping at dollar tree you know what i'm saying i'll definitely try that um burrito out the next time i go so okay then the lady started talking to me about something else and then you know that was that she started telling me about another um something else dollar tree sells and that i should get it okay that was that all right so fast forward about maybe six or seven minutes later i'm on a different aisle I run into the exact same lady again and the lady asked me the exact same question have I ever had a certain burrito from Dollar Tree and at that moment I realized okay well this clearly this lady has dementia or Alzheimer's or some kind of you know disease you know where it caused her to uh, be forgetful probably it's probably dementia or something um, and when the lady asked me and sorry y'all when the lady asked me Hold on, I'm just, so when the lady, um, so the lady approached me again and she asked me again, have you ever had this burrito from Dollar Tree? You should really try it. Now, mind you, this lady just gave me this exact same recommendation about uh, six or seven minutes prior. But again, the lady appeared to have dementia. And I guess the whole reason why I'm sharing this is um, if you ever in a grocery store, and an older person approaches you, or, or not even in a grocery store, at any point in life where you have, it, it seems like an older person will ask you a question and then five minutes later, they'll come back and ask you the exact same question. If that happens, clearly, you know, they have dementia or Alzheimer's and just, if, and just answer the question again. Don't even, you know, don't even be like, well, you just asked me that five minutes ago or you literally just asked me that exact question. Just answer the question again as if they just asked you the first time because they do not remember or know that they just asked you that question. If they did know, then they would not ask you again. <laughs> so, um, 
I guess this is just a PSA to be kind and understanding. I know even though empathy is not something that's always contagious in this world, but that's just, you know, I don't wanna rant, but that's just what I had to say. But anyway, so, <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm done grocery shopping for the day. It was only something simple. Um, I only, I did self checkout and I'm still, cause when you only have two hands and I know you can check out one hand and the other, but it's still, I don't, I'm still trying to learn how to coordinate everything. You know, I'm still a new YouTuber. I'm just trying to learn how to coordinate everything as I'm doing these vlogs and stuff. But I spent total, I think I spent like what, $36, 30, 35, $36 at Food Lion. Had I would've went to Publix, which I love Publix by the way. Had I would've went to Publix, that would've been easy, $55. So, yeah, that's it, I'm not gonna rent anymore, I'm sorry. Um, hope you all enjoyed this vlog. When you a new YouTuber, you really don't be knowing what the fuck to say. <laughs> so you just be trying to think of shit. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a great day.